It's now time for Trivia Tracks with yours truly, Price Robertson. This edition of Trivia Tracks is brought to you by Washita Valley Respiratory Care, where you can breathe a little easier, and Beth Smith at Edward Jones. Edward Jones, making sense of investing, member SIPC. Perhaps one of the most outrageous tag teams in wrestling history is the Bushwhackers, consisting of Butch Miller and Luke Williams. During their 36 years together, they wrestled for WWF, Jim Crockett, and on the independent circuit. Miller, real first name Robert, and Williams, born Brian Wickens, first teamed up as the Kiwis in the NWA's New Zealand Territory, where they achieved a great deal of regional success. After working Australasia and the Eastern Asia circuit, the duo headed for North America, joining Grand Prix, a promotion owned by the Vachon family and Edouard Carpentier in 1972. Elsewhere in Canada, the team worked for Stu Hart Stampede Wrestling, winning their International Tag Team Championship title in 1974. Repackaged as the New Zealand Sheep Herders, the team moved to PNW in Oregon, feuding with Roddy Piper and Rick Martel. While in WWC via Puerto Rico, they were billed as Los Pastores. From 1981 until 1985, the team was known as simply the New Sheep Herders, with Williams now teaming up with Jonathan Boyd and working in the Southern promotions, including those in Memphis and the Southwest. After Miller reunited with Williams, Boy joined forces with Rip Morgan as the Kiwi Sheep Herders, feuding with the Fantastics. Following a two-year stint in the UWF under Bill Watts, Miller and Williams moved to WWF, where they became the Bushwhackers. Their style was outlandish from the beginning, which involved licking each other, fans, and even their opponents, as well as using their existing distinctive march, swinging their flexed arms. In their WWF debut, the Bushwhackers faced off the Bolsheviks, then engaged their first televised feud with the fabulous Rougeau brothers. The Bushwhackers quickly became very popular with kids, chiefly due to the wildly comedic nature of their antics, including their trademark Bushwhacker walk, their pastoral music theme, and their friendly interaction with the audience. This was a stark contrast to their long pre-WWF career as one of the most violent tag teams in wrestling. They went on to feud with other tag teams in the WWF, such as the Nasty Boys, the Beverly Brothers, and Money Incorporated, and captured several tag team titles. After leaving the WWF, the team made special appearances via the independent circuit, including a return to WWC for its 24th anniversary show, and an appearance at Terry Funk's WrestleFest in Amarillo to celebrate 50 years of Funk, where they lost to old rivals Mark and Chris Youngblood. They had their last match in September 2000 in Farmville, Virginia, as Miller then retired following a neck injury and Williams a year later. Although Williams came out of retirement in 2007 and still occasionally wrestled in independent shows. In other media, the Bushwhackers appeared on an episode of Family Matters and in the music video for the Insane Clown Posse's How Many Times. They were inducted into the WWE Hall of Fame Class of 2015 and the Professional Wrestling Hall of Fame and Museum in 2020. Butch Miller died just two weeks ago on April 2nd at the age of 78. Till next time, I'm Price Robertson. Amazed by today's trivia? Then join me every Monday through Friday morning for Trivia Tracks on Fox Sports Camden 97.1.